Today, I want to give you a perspective uh, lens, if you will, through which to see not just the world around you, but also the vast, often uncharted territory within you. Uh, imagine for a moment, you're standing at the edge of a vast ocean. Behind you is everything you've ever known. And in front of you, the waves crash against the shore with relentless energy and possibility. But instead of feeling the thrill of adventure, you're weighed down by invisible chains, chains of doubt, fear, and the whispers of limitations that have been your constant companions for years. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever felt like you're meant for something more, but an invisible force seemed to hold you back? Perhaps you've dreamed of starting your own business, writing a book, or simply seeking a happier, more fulfilling life. Yet every time you're on the brink of action, a voice within whispers, you can't do that. This voice, my friends, is the culmination of every doubt, every fear, and every setback you've ever faced. But what if I told you that today, right here, right now, you could choose to act as if those limitations didn't exist? What if you decided to believe in possibilities rather than constraints? You see, the most significant barrier between you and your dreams is not the world. It's the belief you hold about what's possible for you. Think about it. History is replete with individuals who faced seemingly insurmountable obstacles yet chose to act as if those obstacles were mere stepping stones. They didn't possess superhuman strength or intelligence. No, what set them apart was their unwavering belief in their potential and their relentless pursuit of their goals. Consider the story of a young man born into poverty who dared to dream of a better life. Every morning, he'd wake up to the reality of his circumstances. No wealth, no resources, and no connections. Yet every night, he'd go to bed imagining a different future for himself. He chose to act as if his dreams were within reach, dedicating every moment he could spare to learn, grow, and build the future he envisioned. Today, that young man is a successful entrepreneur touching the lives of millions. His secret, he acted as if it's his limitations were illusions, mere shadows cast by fear. Now, I'm not suggesting that simply believing you're a world-class athlete will make you one, or that imagining yourself as a great musician will ensure your acceptance into a conservatory. What I am saying is that the belief in your potential to improve, to learn, and to overcome is the fuel for the journey ahead. The action you take, driven by this belief, is what will carry you across the oceans of doubt and fear, so how do we begin to act as if something holds us back? Start with a single step. Identify one thing that you've been holding back from doing. Maybe it's writing that first page of your book, applying for that job you thought was out of reach, or simply expressing gratitude to someone you love. Whatever it is, take that step as if you truly believe nothing could hold you back. Notice the liberation that comes from acting as if each step will build your confidence. And soon you'll find yourself doing things you once thought impossible. Remember, the chains that hold us back are often of our own making. By choosing to act as if they don't exist, we're not denying reality, but rather we're giving ourselves permission to explore the full extent of our potential. Carry the power of as if with you. Let it be a beacon that guides you through the darkness of doubt and fear. Act as if you can't fail, as if your dreams are within reach, as if the world is conspiring to help you succeed. Because my friends, when you walk through the world with the belief that nothing can stop you, you'll be amazed at how the universe begins to open doors where there were only walls. Every thread is a decision, an action, a belief. Among these threads, there are those that shine brightly, colored with the hues of achievement and fulfillment. Then there are others less vibrant, woven from the fibers of fear, doubt, and limitation. It's within this intricate weave that our story unfolds a narrative not predetermined, but crafted by our own hands. I want to talk to you today about a concept that is as simple as it is profound. The power of acting as if, as if the barriers you perceive are merely illusions, as if your potential is boundless, awaiting your command to spring into action. This isn't a fairy tale or, or a flight of fancy. It's a principle grounded in the stories of countless individuals who have chosen to see beyond the visible to act in defiance of the gravity of their own doubts. Consider the story of Michael, a young man from a small town whose dreams towered high above the skyline of his reality. Michael's world was one where opportunities were as scarce as rain in a desert. Yet he harbored aspirations that stretched far beyond the confines of his environment. What separated Michael from his peers wasn't a wealth of resources or an abundance of connections. It was his unwavering belief in his potential and his willingness to act as if 
His dreams were already within his grasp. Michael began his journey with a simple yet powerful act. He applied for a scholarship at a prestigious university, a goal that many deemed too ambitious for a boy from his background. Every night he studied by the dim light of a secondhand lamp, acting as if he was already a student of that university. His belief transformed into action, and that action eventually bore the fruit of success. Michael's story teaches us an invaluable lesson. When you act as if your dreams are within reach, you begin to bridge the gap between aspiration and reality. Now, let me pose a question to you. What would you attempt if you knew you could not fail? Would you write that book, start that business, pursue that course? Our lives are often circumscribed not by our actual capabilities, but by our perceived limitations. We erect walls around our potential, convinced that our dreams are too lofty, our abilities too meager. But what if these barriers are merely figments of our imagination? The truth is the potential within each of us is like a vast ocean. Its depths uncharted, its breadth unfathomable. Yet we confine ourselves to the safety of the shore, fearful of the unknown. It's only when we choose to set sail to act as if the entire ocean is ours to explore that we truly begin to understand the extent of what we can achieve. Imagine for a moment a world where Thomas Edison accepted the dimness of his times, where the Wright brothers remained earthbound content with the certainty of the ground beneath their feet. These individuals and countless others acted as if the impossible was possible. They embraced their potential, unbound by fear and doubt, and in doing so, they illuminated our world in ways previously unimaginable. Let me share another story, one that reflects the transformative power of belief. Sarah, a woman from a nondescript neighborhood, dreamed of starting her own business. To many, her ambitions seemed misplaced, a mismatch for her modest means. Yet Sarah acted as if her dream was not a question of if, but when. She took small, determined steps, each one a testament to her belief in her potential. Today, Sarah stands at the helm of a thriving enterprise, a beacon of what's possible when you act as if Limitations are merely stepping stones on the path to success. Remember that our potential is a treasure waiting to be uncovered. It requires not the right circumstances, but the right mindset. It demands that we act as if our dreams are not distant stars, but destinations within our reach. So as you move through the canvas of your life, act as if nothing can stop you, as if there is no limit to your potential. In doing so, you may find that the only limitations are the ones you choose to accept. What seeds are you planting? This isn't merely a poetic musing, but a question that goes to the very heart of our reality. Our beliefs are the architects of our lives, shaping the edifice of our futures with every thought and conviction. The power of belief is not just an abstract concept, but a tangible force that molds our reality brick by brick, thought by thought. And I've deeper into this idea. Imagine two individuals standing before a vast ocean. One sees an insurmountable barrier, waves that mock their ambitions, the other sees a challenge, an adventure, a path to new horizons. The ocean hasn't changed, but their beliefs about what that ocean represents have shaped their reality, determining whether they'll retreat or embark on a journey that could redefine their lives. Belief, my friends, is the ignition of the human spirit, the spark that fuels the engine of our actions. But how do we cultivate a belief strong enough to shape our reality? It starts with the mind, with nurturing a positive mindset that sees opportunities where others see obstacles. This mindset isn't naive. It's powerful. It understands that within every challenge lies a seed of growth, a chance to stretch beyond our current confines. Building self-confidence and belief in one's abilities is akin to strengthening a muscle. It requires consistent effort, a deliberate practice of pushing beyond comfort zones. Start with setting small, achievable goals, each one a stepping stone that builds your confidence celebrate these victories, no matter how minor they may seem. Each success is a testament to your capability, a building block in the fortress of your self-belief. Visualization is another potent tool in this endeavor. It involves painting a vivid picture in your mind of achieving your goals, of overcoming your fears. This isn't daydreaming. It's a rehearsal for success. When you visualize, you're aligning your subconscious with your conscious desires, programming your mind to act in ways that make your visions a reality. Let me share a story that perfectly illustrates the transformative power of belief in visualization. Emily, a young woman with a passion for art, found herself trapped in a job that left her creatively stifled. Despite her talent, 
She doubted her ability to succeed in the competitive world of art. However, Emily began to visualize herself thriving as an artist, imagining the joy of creating every day of her works being celebrated. This visualization wasn't passive. It spurred her into action. She started dedicating her evenings to her art, building a portfolio, reaching out to galleries. Today, Emily is a renowned artist. Her work's a testament to the power of belief in shaping one's destiny. So how can we apply this to our lives? Begin by challenging the negative beliefs that have taken root in your mind. Replace them with positive affirmations that reinforce your worth, your capabilities. Surround yourself with people who uplift you, who see the vastness of your potential even when you can't. And visualize not just the success you desire, but the person you need to become to achieve it. But remember, belief alone isn't enough. It must be coupled with action. Belief is the sail, but action is the wind that propels the ship forward. Together, they can carry you to shores you once thought unreachable. Ask yourself, what beliefs are creating my reality? Are they serving me or are they holding me back? Cultivate a mindset that embraces possibility, that immediately sees the immense potential within you. Let your beliefs be the architects of a reality that is full of possibility, a life that reflects not just what is but what could be. Let belief be your compass, guiding you through the storms towards the stars. Remember, the power to shape your reality lies within you in the garden of your mind. Plant seeds of positivity, of possibility, and watch as your world transforms before your very eyes. Belief acts as the thread that starts the weave. However, it is action that colors the fabric, giving it life and form, not mince words here. Belief, as powerful as it is, remains a dormant force until it's paired with action. Action is the bridge between what is imagined in the mind and what is manifested in reality. It's the difference between dreaming of a feast and actually sitting down to eat. The question then becomes, how do we move from belief to action, especially when uncertainty clouds our path? The answer lies in understanding that action, like belief, starts with a single step. It requires courage to take that initial step, particularly when the destination is not fully in view. But remember, the clarity you seek often comes through the act of moving forward, not before it. Let me tell you about Linda. Linda had a dream to open her own bakery. She envisioned a quaint little shop where the smell of fresh bread and pastries filled the air, bringing smiles to everyone who visited. Yet for years, Linda's dream remained just that. A dream? She believed in her heart. She could do it. But the thought of leaving her stable job, the financial risks, and the unknowns of starting a business kept her stationary. It was only when she took the decisive step of enrolling in a baking and business course that her dream began to crystallize into something tangible. That single action set a cascade of events into motion, leading her to where she is today, the proud owner of a thriving bakery. What Linda's story teaches us is that taking action, even in the face of uncertainty, is crucial. But how do you go about it? How do you move from standing at the edge of your dreams to diving into the waters of realization? Here are some practical steps. Define your goal as clearly as possible. What exactly do you want to achieve? The more specific you are, the more targeted your actions can be. Break down your goal into smaller manageable tasks. Think of these as the individual steps on the ladder leading to your goal. Each step is an action point. Then prioritize these tasks. What needs to happen first? What can wait? This helps you focus on what's immediately important, ensuring that you're moving efficiently towards your goal. Now, set deadlines for these tasks. Deadlines create urgency and compel action. They're your commitment to moving forward step by step. Take the first step, no matter how small. Action begets more action. Momentum builds as you progress, each step empowering the next. Remember, the path to any goal is rarely straight. It zigs and zags with obstacles and challenges along the way, but it's through taking action that we navigate uh, this path, learning, growing, and adapting as we go. Consider this. Every great achievement began with the decision to act. The Wright brothers didn't just dream of flight. They experimented, they tested, they dared to fly. Their actions transformed the dream of flight into reality, altering the course of history. In your hands, you hold the power to act, to move from the realm of thought into the world of reality. It's through your actions that dreams take flight, aspirations are realized, and the impossible becomes possible. So I ask you, what action will you take today that brings you one step closer to your dream? Let the answer to that question be your guide. 
propelling you forward into the world of action where your potential knows no bounds. Each of us plays a unique instrument contributing to the grand ensemble of human endeavor. But as we play, we sometimes hit a wrong note, face a challenging passage, or even encounter a section that seems beyond our current skill level. These are the obstacles and setbacks on our path to success, not signs that we should put down our instruments and leave the orchestra, but invitations to grow, to improve, and to persevere. Take a moment to acknowledge a fundamental truth. Obstacles are a natural part of the journey towards success. No worthwhile journey is without them. In fact, it is the challenges we face and overcome that give our achievements their true value. Imagine a mountain climber reaching the summit of a great peak. The satisfaction comes not just from the view from the top, but from knowing the cliffs climbed, the storms weathered, and the physical limits surpassed to get there. Resilience, then, is not just a useful trait. It is essential. It's the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to learn from failure, and to keep moving forward. It's seeing failure not as a signal to retreat, but as a guidepost for a new direction. Every setback is a lesson, every obstacle an opportunity to learn. Consider the story of Thomas, who dreamed of bringing clean drinking water to his village. The task was daunting. Resources were scarce, and the technology needed was beyond his grasp. Thomas faced skepticism from those around him and numerous setbacks as he sought a solution. Yet he persisted, acting as if each failure brought him one step closer to his goal. Thomas learned from each setback, refining his approach until finally he succeeded. Today, his village enjoys clean water and Thomas is working to expand his project to other communities. His journey was fraught with challenges, but his resilience, his refusal to give up, transformed a dream into reality. Now, resilience is like a muscle. It strengthens with use. So how do we build this muscle? First, by accepting that setbacks are part of the process. Approach each challenge with the mindset that it is not insurmountable, but a puzzle to be solved. When faced with failure, take a step back and analyze what happened. What can you learn from this experience? How can it inform your next attempt? Cultivate a support network. Surround yourself with people who believe in you, who can offer advice, encouragement, and a different perspective when you're too close to the problem. Remember, resilience doesn't mean going it alone. It means knowing when to seek support and how to use it to bounce back stronger. Practice gratitude. It may seem counterintuitive, but finding things to be grateful for, even in the midst of setbacks, can provide the emotional boost needed to persevere. Gratitude helps us see the resources we do have rather than focusing solely on what we lack. Let me share another inspiring example. Sarah was an aspiring writer who faced rejection after rejection from publishers. Each no was a blow to her confidence, a weight added to her shoulders. Yet, she acted as if each rejection was a sign she was one step closer to acceptance. She used the feedback to improve her writing, to hone her craft. And in the end, her perseverance paid off. Her book was published to critical acclaim, the first of many. Sarah's journey was marked by setbacks, but her resilience, her unwavering belief in her own potential, led her to success. Let us embrace the challenges we face. We act as if these obstacles are not obstacles, but stepping stones on the journey to success. And when we stumble, let us remember Thomas, Sarah, and the countless others who faced setbacks but chose to persevere, learn, and ultimately triumph. Imagine starting every day with the sunrise, and not just as a spectator, but as an active participant in the beauty and promise it signifies. Each day is a canvas, and you, with your mindset and actions, are the artist. The act as if mindset isn't just a tool for overcoming challenges or reaching for distant dreams. It's a way of living a habit that transforms the mundane into the extraordinary. To live as if every day means to wake up and approach your tasks, your interactions, and even your obstacles with the conviction that success, happiness, and fulfillment are not just possible but inevitable. It's about embodying the qualities of the person you aspire to be even before you fully become that person. Incorporating this mindset into daily life begins with intention. It's a choice you make each morning before the world sets your agenda for you. Start your day with affirmations that align with your goals and the person you want to be. Affirmations like, I am capable of achieving anything I set my mind to, or today, I choose to focus on my strengths and possibilities. These statements, simple yet powerful, set the tone for your day 
priming your mind to act as if the success you seek is already yours. But affirmations alone, much like belief without action, can feel like seeds scattered on infertile ground. To truly cultivate the act as if mindset, your environment plays a crucial role. Surround yourself with positivity, with people who uplift you and support your vision. Just as a plant thrives in the right soil, the right environment nurtures your mindset, reinforcing your daily affirmations and empowering you to act. Consider the story, Marcus, a young entrepreneur whose vision seemed to outpace his experience. Doubt and skepticism from those around him threatened to cloud his vision. Marcus made a conscious decision to seek out mentors and peers who shared his passion and optimism. These relationships became a source of strength and encouragement, reminding him to act as if he had already achieved his goals. Their support was a mirror reflecting the potential he felt within himself, even on days when it seemed out of reach. To live as if every day also means to embrace practices that reinforce this mentality. Visualization, for instance, is a powerful tool. Spend a few moments each morning visualizing your day, not just as a series of tasks to be completed, but as steps on the path to your greater goal. See yourself navigating challenges with grace, seizing opportunities with confidence, and ending the day closer to your dream. This practice doesn't just prepare you for the day ahead. It aligns your subconscious with your conscious intentions, making your actions more purposeful and your resolve unshakable. Yet living as if also requires adaptability. It's about embracing the fluidity of life, understanding that the path to your goals may twist and turn. Each day brings its own set of challenges and surprises. To act as if is to adapt with optimism, to see every change in the road not as a detour, but as part of the journey. Do not forget, however, that living as if is not about pretending or denying reality. It's a strategy for growth and achievement. It's about being honest with yourself about where you are and where you want to be, then bridging that gap with your actions and mindset. It's about embodying the qualities of the person who achieves your goals starting now in this moment with the resources and knowledge you currently have. Living as if every day is creating a habit of success. Weaving the fabric of your dreams with threads of daily action, belief, and positivity. It is a commitment to yourself, the courage to act each day, the resilience to endure, and an optimistic approach to success. So step into each day with the belief that our dreams are not only possible, but inevitable and prove the power of living our lives as if. It's essential to pause and reflect on the journey we've embarked upon today. We've explored the vast landscapes of our potential, the formidable power of our beliefs, the undeniable necessity of action, the art of overcoming challenges, and the transformative practice of living as if every single day, each of these elements woven together forms the tapestry of a life lived fully a life that transcends the ordinary and touches the extraordinary. Understanding our potential is the first step on this journey. It's about recognizing that within each of us lies an ocean of possibility, vast and deep. But to navigate these waters, we must first believe in the ship that is ourselves. The power of belief cannot be overstated. It is the wind that fills our sails and propels us forward, even when the waters are choppy and the horizon seems distant. Yet belief alone cannot carry us to our destination. It must be paired with action, the deliberate, purposeful steps we take towards our dreams. Action is the oar in our hands, the effort that moves us stroke by stroke towards the shores of our aspirations. And what of the storms we encounter? The challenges and setbacks that seem to rise like towering waves threatening to overturn us? It is here that resilience becomes our lifeline. Our ability to ride the waves, to learn from the tumult, and to emerge stronger more adept at navigating the seas of life. Living as if is perhaps the most powerful practice of all. It's the decision to act each day as if our dreams are already within reach, as if our goals are already achieved. This mindset shifts the way we approach our daily lives, infusing each moment with purpose, each action with significance. So where do we go from here? The path forward is clear. It's time to start acting as if nothing can hold us back. From this moment forward, approach each day with the conviction that our dreams are not just possible, but inevitable. Commit to action, not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Because the truth is, the only thing standing between us and our dreams is the belief that it's possible and the will to make it happen. Remember this, you have the power to shape your destiny. Your life is a canvas and you hold the brush. With conviction as your palette and action as your strokes, 
Paint a masterpiece that is uniquely yours. Let the beauty of your dreams, the colors of your talents, and the texture of your resilience be the legacy you leave behind. Remember, the journey to achieving your dreams begins with a single step, a step taken with the courage to act as if. So take that step, embrace the journey, and let the world marvel at what you can achieve. The road ahead is bright filled with the light of your potential. Go forth and illuminate the world with your brilliance.